Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm making a cute sign for Halloween and I'm gonna be making this glow in the dark and if you want to make yours that way too, I'm gonna show you how. So to get started, go ahead and head to my blog at svgnation.com to grab this free SVG file and there is a link in the video description that's gonna take you directly there as well as links to the supplies that I'm using in today's video. So once you have that file uploaded, um, it should look just like this. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see it. Um, if you have a different size wood round that you're using, I'm using a 16 inch, you are going to have to resize this. So to do that, just go to your shapes right here and add a circle. Change the dimensions of this to the size of the wood round you're using. So I'll just change this to 12. And then we want to go ahead and send this to back. And let's close that. And so now you can, with everything all grouped together, go ahead and resize this until you feel like it fits perfectly on there. Okay. So once you have it resized, it'll be ready to cut. So I'm using glow in the dark for all of the white, but I wanted to add a little bit of color, which is why I used the green and the purple. Um, so you can get rid of that green and purple if you just want to glow in the dark, or if you don't want the glow in the dark, you can keep the green and purple. So just modify however you want. Just make sure that you ungroup the layers first, and then you can modify them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and undo everything that I've done, because I have a 16 inch wood round, and so I'm gonna need that size. All right, so there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on make. Uh, I'm not gonna save this, I've got the file already. And we're just using a regular mat for this. And then just make sure that you mirror these um, because we are using iron on vinyl for this. Iron on vinyl works so much better than adhesive vinyl on wood. So I highly recommend using iron on vinyl. And I am gonna use my longer mat just so I can cut more at a time. I can actually cut all of the white together. I'm gonna go ahead and modify this one to mirror and mirror this as well. All right, so go ahead and cut everything out and then I'm gonna show you how you can apply this onto wood. There is a glow heat transfer vinyl setting in your custom settings and that's what I'm using to cut this. And I'm just cutting it like I would a heat transfer vinyl where I have the shiny side facing down. And then once that vinyl is cut, you're just gonna weed it just like you would for any heat transfer vinyl. So we're just removing all of the pieces that we don't need. And make sure you remove out like the little faces and everything. And I'm just gonna cut and separate these. Everything is cut out in individual pieces, so you are just gonna cut and separate all the pieces. And then you're gonna wanna cut really close to the edge. Um, this way we can press everything at the same time. And so you're gonna wanna get close, that way when you line everything up, there's no overlapping. The only thing we're not gonna be able to press at the same time is the hey boo in the white, just because that lays on top of that purple and green. Now you can leave one of those layers off. I just want a little bit of color, but I still wanted the hey boo to glow with the ghosts. Um, so that's why I did it that way. So I'm just getting close around the edges. Now this back side where it lays up against the edge, you're not gonna need to trim that side up because it's not gonna overlap with anything. Just kind of the part that faces in towards the middle and the top and the bottom of the ghosts. And then you wanna cut around all of the letters um, for the bottom layer of the hay boo. All right, so now that I've cut around everything, I'm just gonna get my board. So this board was originally like this tan color. I just painted over it on black because I think this is gonna look so much better on black. Um, but you can paint it whatever color you want or keep it that tan color. And I just used a black acrylic paint. So any indoor, outdoor black acrylic paint will work. And I'm gonna put this straight up. So see these holes, these are my top. So I'm just gonna face that up. And now I'm gonna place these ghosts in place. So these ghosts may cover those holes a little, but that's okay. We'll just use like this little tool to like pick in it and get rid of it. We're just lining these up right now. 
And I am looking in my Cricut Design Space to see how I have these. Um, so you'll probably need to do the same, or you can just kind of look at one of my pictures. And all the ghosts are gonna line up around the edge. I'm just trying to kind of stick them down so hopefully they stay in place a little better. I'm also going to line up the Hey Boo, the bottom layer of it. And I do need to trim right here. I didn't trim right there and I don't want that overlapping so I'm just going to give that a trim and if you see anything that overlaps just give it a quick trim and you may have to maneuver some of these pieces once you get everything down to make sure that nothing overlaps okay. so like this one goes down pretty far I'm just kind of looking at the image to help me line this up but this ghost does need to come down to where the arm Kind of goes right there and I'm just lifting this up a little bit so those fit together. And just stick that down the best that I can. And then this just kind of fits right in there. So now you can kind of make sure your ghosts are spaced out the way you want them now that you have everything laid down. Make sure you don't need to make any adjustments. So I wanted to try to press everything at once, but these just aren't staying down and I don't want anything getting messed up. So I'm just gonna kind of press individually, but it is important that you line everything up first because you wanna make sure you have your text in a place where the ghosts are gonna go on properly when you press that down. So I'm gonna start with just pressing this part. And you do wanna use some type of parchment paper um, in between so that the heat doesn't go directly on the board. And when pressing, you do want to use a temperature of 305 and you are going to press for 30 seconds. And I'm just kind of firmly pressing on this, like not too, too hard, but I'm giving it a little extra pressure. And then you do want to let this cool before you peel it off. And while that's cooling, I'm going to go ahead and get my next ghost set up. While this is cooling, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my next ghost. So I'm just gonna lay this right here. Because I can go ahead and press this while it's cooling. I'm just gonna kinda press just on this one side, but I'm covering up everything that the heat press is gonna be on. So I'm just gonna kinda add it to the side here and leave that on for 30 seconds. So once that cools, you should just go ahead and be able to lift. I'm gonna start over here and peel those off easily. If it doesn't come off easily, just go ahead and press it down and add more heat um, because it should just remove super easily. And when you cut around it so close, sometimes it makes it a little bit difficult to get it started. So you can just kind of grab your pick and get it started in one of these corners. And once you get it started, it's super easy to peel. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and press the white on top of the hay boo. And I'm gonna press both of these pieces together. Just kind of line that up. going to place my parchment paper on top and give that a press. And while that cools a little, I'm just going to add another ghost here. I'm bringing this up here where my hole is still open. Um, you can cover it if you want and just poke it back through, but I'm going to leave it open. And we're just gonna try to add heat in that one area. And 
I'm just adding my last ghost on here. Alright, so check out how cool this is already looking. And what's cool is watch how it glows. So the next step is optional, but if you're gonna hang this outdoors, I highly recommend it. Um, so I'm just gonna spray it with this clear acrylic sealer, and this is just the Mod Podge brand. Again, I'm gonna link to this in the video description in case you wanna get this, um, but give it a good shake. And I am gonna do this outside, so I'm not gonna do it on camera, um, because you want a well-ventilated area, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So you kinda wanna start like on the side and get it started, and then just quickly go over just doing like a very light coat. And then let it dry and do another coat and continue to add coats until you feel like it's good. I'm probably gonna do three or four, four coats, but I'll let you know how many I did when I get back. All right, so I went with four coats and now it's dry and it's ready to hang. Um, but with that sealer, it's not gonna affect how this glows, so don't be afraid about that. But it's just gonna help weatherproof it and seal it. Um, and since mine's going outdoor, I wanted to make sure that I did quite a bit of coats to really help weatherproof this and seal it in. All right, so normally when I hang these, I use string, but mine kind of get twisted sometimes with the wind with the string, so I'm trying something new. This is just like some floral wire. wire. So I'm just gonna grab some of this. Um, it's thin enough it'll cut with scissors and I'm just gonna string this through the hole and I'm just gonna wrap this really tight around here a bunch of times so I'm hoping by using wire it's gonna hang better and keep it from like tw twisting and being upside down sometimes um, but I guess we'll see um, because I do plan to actually twist this as well around the um, screw, so I think that that should help. That's holding it in. Um, and now I'm just gonna bring this one through this hole. And again, you can use string as well, just whatever you prefer. So I cut way more of this than I need. I'm just gonna twist this a lot. And you can even add like some hot glue here to keep that nice and tight. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna heat up my glue gun real quick. So I'm just gonna cut this about the length that I want it. I never go too long. You really don't need it too long. So I'm just gonna cut off some, but I wanna leave enough for twisting. So again, I'm just gonna sit here and twist this in place. If you guys have any better hanging options than what I'm doing right here, I would love to hear them. So definitely feel free to share those in the comments. Also, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask those in the comments and I'll answer them there or suggestions for different types of these wood signs that you would like to see. I'm always open for suggestions and if we get enough interest in it, you know, I'll definitely see what I can do. All right, so this is ready to hang. Um, of course, if it's going inside and you just wanna set it places, you don't need to worry about putting this here. So one of the nice things about hanging this outside is that it's gonna charge during the day while the sun's out and then it's gonna glow at night. Um, if it's in a well-lit house, it's gonna do the same thing, but if it's kind of in a dark area, you may need to hold this under light a little bit um, to help it glow better. So if it ever kind of stops glowing, just put it under light for like a minute or two minutes and it's gonna get its glow back. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Cricut tutorials like it. Bye guys.